Picture this. You power on your computer tomorrow morning and something feels different. There's no familiar Windows logo, no Microsoft branding anywhere. Instead, you're greeted by an elegant, fluid interface you've never seen before, Harmony OS, engineered by Huawei, backed by Beijing, and now running on millions of machines across the planet. What started as a smartphone operating system born from necessity has evolved into something far more ambitious. A genuine competitor to Microsoft's decades-long grip on personal computing. And here's what should make the world pay attention. Across China, Windows is vanishing from government offices, corporate headquarters, and everyday users' desks at an unprecedented pace. This raises a question that seemed impossible just five years ago. Could Harmony OS genuinely challenge Windows on the world stage? Or are we witnessing a technologically dressed geopolitical maneuver with more ambition than substance? A different philosophy, the ecosystem revolution. To understand why Harmony OS matters, we need to grasp how fundamentally different its design philosophy is from Windows. Microsoft built its empire during the PC era, a time when your computer was the center of your digital universe. Everything revolved around that desktop or laptop sitting on your desk. But Huawei looked at the modern world and saw something completely different, a web of interconnected devices that should work as one unified system. This is what Huawei calls the 1 plus 8 plus N architecture. Your smartphone serves as the central hub, the One, it communicates seamlessly with eight core device categories, laptops, tablets, smartwatches, television screens, audio equipment, vehicles, and more. Beyond that, the N represents an unlimited number of IoT devices, everything from smart home appliances to fitness trackers. The magic happens in the integration. Switch from your phone to your laptop and your work continues exactly where you left off. No file transfers, no cloud syncing delays, no authentication headaches. Answer a call on your watch that started on your phone. Control your car's navigation from your tablet before you even get in. This isn't just convenient. It's a completely reimagined relationship between humans and technology. But the story of how Harmony OS came to exist reveals even more about its potential and its purpose. From crisis to independence. Huawei's Forced Evolution In 2019, the United States government placed Huawei on its entity list, effectively cutting the company off from American technology. No more Google mobile services. No more access to cutting-edge semiconductors. No more reliance on Western cloud infrastructure or app marketplaces. For most companies, this would have been a death sentence. For Huawei, it became a catalyst for radical transformation. The company invested tens of billions of dollars into building complete technological independence. They developed HiSilicon, their own chip design architecture. They created their own application marketplace to replace Google Play. They built proprietary developer tools and frameworks. And most critically, they engineered their own operating system kernel, the fundamental core that makes any OS function. By 2024, Huawei achieved something remarkable. They removed every last line of Android code from what they now call Harmony OS Next. This wasn't just an upgrade. It was a declaration of complete independence from Google's ecosystem. Even Samsung, despite its massive resources, never managed to break free from Android completely. Huawei did, and the results speak for themselves. Early testing of Harmony OS-powered laptops in China reveals something Microsoft should find deeply concerning. Users are voluntarily switching in massive numbers. Why? Because Harmony OS delivers noticeably faster boot times, smoother performance, and deep integration with artificial intelligence features. From voice commands that actually understand context to cross-device productivity tools that feel genuinely intelligent. In an era where consumers increasingly care about data privacy and where nations worry about technological sovereignty, Huawei is offering something that feels not just modern, but politically and strategically significant. The Bigger Picture A World Breaking Free 
Harmony OS didn't emerge in a vacuum. It's part of a much larger global shift, a movement toward technological independence from Western, particularly American, dominance. For decades, the United States has controlled the fundamental infrastructure of global computing. American companies designed the chips, wrote the software, hosted the clouds, and set the standards. But around the world, governments are growing uncomfortable with this arrangement. They're asking uncomfortable questions. What happens when geopolitical tensions rise? Can foreign software companies shut off critical infrastructure? Who really controls our data? Huawei? whether by design or circumstance, has become the symbol of an alternative path, and the implications extend far beyond any single operating system. The real question now is whether Harmony OS can expand beyond China's borders and genuinely compete with Windows internationally. Because if it succeeds, we're not just watching a business rivalry, we're witnessing the birth of a new digital world order one where American technological hegemony no longer goes unchallenged. Throughout 2024, something extraordinary happened across Chinese government institutions, and most of the world barely noticed. Beijing began systematically removing windows from public sector computers. Ministries switched to domestic operating systems. State-owned banks migrated their terminals. Major corporations followed suit. The Chinese government officially designated Harmony OS and Kylin OS as approved, secure alternatives for state use, citing concerns about data sovereignty and cybersecurity vulnerabilities in foreign software. Microsoft wasn't given an opportunity to negotiate. There were no discussions about special arrangements or localized versions. The directive was clear and final. Foreign software would no longer control the nation's digital infrastructure. The commercial impact has been swift and dramatic. Chinese PC manufacturers like Lenovo and Huawei now ship laptops with Harmony OS pre-installed as the default for domestic customers. Chinese users are abandoning Microsoft Office in favor of WPS Office. Microsoft Edge is being replaced by Harmony Browser, built entirely on domestic frameworks. Even AI assistants that previously ran on Windows are now integrated directly into Harmony OS, powered by Huawei's Pangu AI models, rather than OpenAI's technology or Microsoft's Copilot. To outside observers, this might seem like a simple operating system transition. But look closer, and you'll see something far more profound, digital sovereignty being implemented in real time. China is building a completely self-contained digital ecosystem, one where data, users, and AI infrastructure are entirely insulated from foreign access or potential interference. Harmony OS isn't merely software. It's a strategic defense mechanism wrapped in an elegant user interface. As China constructs its digital fortress and nations choose sides in this technological cold war, individual privacy has become more vulnerable than ever. Governments monitor internet traffic. Advertisers track every click. Hackers exploit vulnerabilities across all platforms. Whether you're using Windows, Mac OS, or even Harmony OS, your data is constantly at risk. This video is sponsored by NordVPN the trusted leader in online security that protects your privacy regardless of which ecosystem you're in. NordVPN encrypts your data, masks your IP address, and keeps your browsing secure across all devices and operating systems. Right now, you can get a 73% discount using the link below. Don't wait for a data breach to take action. Protect your digital life today with NordVPN. As privacy becomes the new battlefield, another question emerges. Can Microsoft defend its empire, or is this the beginning of the end? Microsoft fights back. The counteroffensive begins. Make no mistake, Microsoft is not surrendering quietly. Losing China, the world's second largest PC market, would represent a catastrophic blow to the company's future. That's why 2025 marks the beginning of Microsoft's most aggressive counteroffensive in years. Their primary weapon? Artificial intelligence. Microsoft is fundamentally restructuring Windows around AI capabilities, particularly through its Copilot integration.
Windows 11 and the upcoming Windows 12 are transforming into intelligent platforms that can automate complex tasks, generate content, optimize workflows, and learn from user behavior, all powered by OpenAI's advanced models. This is no longer just an operating system. Microsoft is building a personal digital assistant that happens to run your computer. But here's the strategic irony. China has no access to OpenAI's technology, which means Harmony OS is developing its own completely independent AI ecosystem. While Microsoft leverages Western artificial intelligence, Huawei is creating alternatives that are entirely offline, sovereign, and secure from foreign access. Microsoft's second strategy involves forging deeper alliances with Western and Asian manufacturers to lock in global market share. Dell, HP, and Asus have reportedly received incentives to pre-install Windows and Microsoft 365 on devices sold in international markets. Simultaneously, Microsoft's cloud division, Azure, is expanding aggressively into Europe, India, and Africa regions where Huawei still faces significant trade restrictions and political barriers. It's a containment strategy, pure and simple. But perhaps Microsoft's strongest asset isn't Windows itself. It's the developer ecosystem. Microsoft owns GitHub, Visual Studio, and an enormous infrastructure of enterprise tools that Harmony OS can't yet replicate. And in the software world, developers are oxygen. Without them, even the most technically impressive operating system suffocates. Huawei understands this vulnerability perfectly, which is why they're offering substantial incentives, including direct cash payments and tax breaks, to developers who port their applications from Android and Windows to Harmony OS. The strategy is working. Over 800,000 native Harmony OS applications now exist, a remarkable achievement in just a few years yet Microsoft still maintains advantages in crucial areas. Productivity software, gaming, and professional tools like Adobe Creative Suite, AutoCAD, and Office applications, at least for now. Because Huawei isn't trying to beat Microsoft at its own game. They're trying to leapfrog the entire battlefield. The next generation, why traditional PCs may no longer matter. Here's what Microsoft should find most threatening. Harmony OS doesn't need to win the traditional PC market to succeed. It only needs to dominate the next generation of computing. Smart displays, electric vehicle dashboards, IoT networks, and AI-integrated systems that seamlessly connect every aspect of our lives. In this emerging landscape, Windows looks increasingly like a relic from another era. And if Microsoft doesn't radically reinvent itself, quickly, it may find its once impenetrable empire suddenly surrounded by a new kind of competitor it never prepared for. The New Digital Cold War Two worlds, two visions. What we're witnessing isn't simply competition between two operating systems or two companies. This is a digital cold war, and the battle lines are becoming clearer every day. On one side stands the West. Microsoft, Google, Apple, controlling most of the world's devices and software infrastructure through decades of innovation and market dominance. On the other side stands the East, Huawei, Tencent, Alibaba, rapidly constructing a parallel technological ecosystem that no longer requires permission from Silicon Valley to exist or expand. At the center of this divide sits Harmony OS. Huawei isn't marketing it as Chinese Windows. That framing would be too narrow. Instead, they're positioning it as the foundation of an entirely new digital civilization, an ecosystem connecting your phone, your car, your home, and your workplace entirely within Chinese networks and infrastructure. It's an audacious strategy, but it aligns perfectly with China's Made in China 2025 initiative, which aims to dominate not just hardware manufacturing, but the software that controls it. In 2025, Huawei made a move that shocked Western analysts. Harmony OS Next would abandon all Android app compatibility completely. No more Google frameworks. No Western code whatsoever. Many predicted catastrophic failure the Chinese market proved them spectacularly wrong. 
With millions of developers migrating their applications, Harmony OS has become the first truly post-Android operating system, completely independent, remarkably fast, and deeply integrated with Chinese AI infrastructure. Meanwhile, Windows continues dominating Western markets, but cracks in that dominance are appearing. Younger generations no longer depend on Microsoft Office or even desktop computers the way previous generations did. They inhabit mobile ecosystems, Apple's, Google's, and increasingly, Huawei's. The PC era that built Microsoft's empire is fading, replaced by cross-device ecosystems and AI assistance. And Harmony OS, designed from its foundation for this connected future, may possess a genuine architectural advantage. Washington understands the implications perfectly. If Harmony OS spreads beyond China into Asia, Africa, or Latin America, it could fundamentally reshape global software standards, pushing American technology companies out of critical infrastructure markets in developing nations. That's why the United States has already moved to restrict exports of AI chips, advanced servers, and developer tools to Chinese companies. But history shows that sanctions often backfire. Just as with semiconductors, these restrictions are only accelerating China's determination to build complete technological independence. This battle isn't about which interface looks better or which system boots faster. It's about who controls the future of computing itself. Every operating system defines what information people can access, what data gets shared and with whom, and which AI models shape our understanding of the world. In that sense, Harmony OS and Windows have transcended being mere products. They're weapons in a much larger geopolitical war. What comes next? A world divided. The confrontation between Harmony OS and Windows represents more than a corporate rivalry. It's the beginning of a new digital order. Our world is fragmenting into two distinct technological ecosystems, one powered by Western companies emphasizing open markets and cloud dependency, another led by China prioritizing state control, national sovereignty, and deep integration. Harmony OS may not replace Windows overnight or even in the next five years, but it's planting seeds that could fundamentally reshape the next decade of technology and geopolitics. Imagine a future where most smart devices, from smartphones to automobiles to entire smart cities, run on a Chinese-built system, completely disconnected from Silicon Valley's infrastructure. For the first time in decades, Microsoft isn't dictating the rules. It's reacting to them. The ultimate question isn't which operating system will emerge victorious, but which vision of the digital world we want to inhabit. One where innovation is open and shared across borders, or one where it's guarded behind national firewalls and technological sovereignty. Whatever unfolds next, one truth is undeniable. The era of unchallenged Western software dominance is ending. A new technological age has already begun whether we're ready for it or not. If this deep dive into the global tech wars opened your eyes to what's really happening behind the headlines, hit that like button, share this video with others who need to understand these shifts, and subscribe for more analysis of the forces reshaping our digital future. The battle for control of computing has only just begun.